Hey guys, welcome back to Survival Command, the series where we use command blocks to solve our everyday survival problems. So, what do we have in store for today? Well, it's about time we get off of the rock face and instead move into it. So, I've done some prep work and yeah, I got a fair amount done. So what I did is strip back all the dirt and um, I got this white stained hardened clay. If you're wondering where I got that from, I actually found a mesa biome, so I went there. Anyway, so this is probably going to be our base. Well, it is going to be our base, I've already decided that. And yeah, I think it's going to be pretty good. So this is going to be the outer wall area, then we're going to clear out parts of the inside of this mountain, and then we can also use the top of the mountain for stuff, and yeah, um, I also want to go down into the mountain to um, probably make a storage center going downwards, but that will all come later, but right now we kind of just need to actually start digging it out, and there's another thing we need. Lots and lots um, of glass, because I'm wanting to do glass pane walls, blue glass pane specifically. So yeah, I have a lot of work on my hands, but I guess I better just get started. Actually, you know what? This is survival command, so let's not dig it out by hand. Let's do something with command blocks. So what are we going to be doing? Alright, so to start off I'm going to come over, let's see, if we're going to be digging, we want to dig all the way out to maybe about right here. So I'm going to come up with some cobblestone to a certain elevation. Let's go, uh, this works. So this is at 83, Y83. Now remember that number. So now if I build this across here, cut, then we have something to work off of. So now what we're going to do, we're going to rename an armor stand. Now, I'm technically not going to be able to place this renamed armor stand, but it will um, let me do something. So I'm going to call it minor one. Okay, so I've now just spent the levels to get minor one, and I'm going to get one more of them. So, there. Now, what I can do, I can, let's see, I want to place down, uh, where do I put this? I'll just put it right here for now. So, game mode one, so I'm going to um, execute at E, type equals armor stand, name equals minor one, at its location to then detect um, at its Y coordinates, but at, was it was 83 for air, okay? And just going to verify this is 83. So if I do set block, yes, okay. Don't want to make a mistake here. So now if we have it at 83, so this has to detect air. If that happens, then we can teleport at E, name equals minor one, in a direction. So to do this, we're going to then, well, we can just teleport it um, on the positive y-axis. So we can just go one like that. So theoretically, if I were to place this down, I will need to do an entity data command to change its name. So let's do that really quick. All right, I just realized I placed down the armor stand while in creative mode, so I need to undo that. So we place down an armor stand named minor one. Now we can do 
an entity data command on it to change its custom name to minor1. And now it should be named minor1. Now, um, let's just get a lever really quick and see if this works. Uh, let's see. Okay. Maybe the name was not set correctly. Um, one second. I'll check. Whoops, forgot to do the damage tag for error, which is just zero. And also I changed the entity dagger command really quick. So, it should teleport it. Until... No. It shouldn't go past the cobblestone. Good, it's not going past it. So now I can just... Um... Go back into game mode zero. I'm going to harvest the sky. But it's still named minor one. And I'm going to keep that. But now I just need to place down two more commands. So I need to actually go craft another command block. I'll be right back. All right, got the command blocks. I'm just going to quickly place both of them down. Like right here, doesn't really matter. And now I need to put in the commands. So I'm going to execute at the name equals minor one um, to then do yeah set block at its current location to air zero destroy copy that put this to um, one game mode zero and so this should mean that the command block now the armor stand will now destroy the blocks around it and then I just need to make a little clock um, so let's do that all right so here's the clock um, simple clock um, not much to say about it but um, now this should be ready I'm just gonna sleep and then we can test it out so if you haven't figured out already and I haven't made myself all that clear. The cobblestone right here should stop the command block from going any farther, so it will just drill through up to the cobblestone. Alright, let's see if we can actually get down here. Okay. Now I can just place this down. I will need to do that. And now it will mine through. Awesome, that works great. And you can see we're also getting item drops because it's on destroy mode. Now, I would have just used a fill command, but um, I made a rule that you're not allowed to because they're kind of cheap. And by cheap, I mean I could just fill a massive area. And it looks like it stopped. Awesome. So I'm just going to pick this guy back up. And, um, so I can just place it down again. I'm not sure if I can do two of them with this setup. I think I could, maybe. Actually, um, yeah, I just realized I have an error in my, my code. Because if I place down two of them, it's going to teleport it by two blocks every time because they're executing each other. So I can, here let's quickly fix that, um, so we want to do name equals minor r equals 1, so that it executes itself. Um, okay, back to game mode 0. And yeah, let's try that again. Yeah, but this is working great. Isn't redstone fun? So I can place down two of them, change the name, yeah that's not working, bad. Why is that not working? Oh boy, they're not going to stop. Okay, yes they did, but, huh, I guess two of them doesn't work. Let me see if I can figure out why. 
duh, I should have just added a c equals one tag also. That should fix it. And back out of game mode one. Um, because yeah, the r equals one tag was probably enough to get the one next to it. So let's try this again. Um, there we go. Wait, what? Oops. I'm silly. I just named a bunch of items to minor one because I forgot to... Yeah, let's fix that. Um, type equals armor stand. There. Okay. And I also grabbed some torches because torches are awesome. So I'm just going to do this throughout um, the thing and I'll show you when I'm done. Well, that's a bug I didn't expect to see, but I guess it makes sense it's trying to destroy the water. Um, that's kind of funny though. Water. You're so annoying, water. Yeah, well, that's kind of funny. I guess it doesn't really harm anything though, because it's not like it's dropping water blocks or anything. If it was, I would just delete them, so... Where is this water? There we go. So, I guess I'll have to fill this all in. Okay, more work for me. Oh, so, again, if you're wondering why I can keep renaming the ones that I place over and over again... Um... Hey, that's interesting. There must be a block there. Um, it's because I've technically already named these guys, and it's just not letting me actually pick up a named version. So I figured it's just fine. Um, let's see if... There's probably a block above somewhere. Yeah, that's probably the chest or something. Anyway. So yeah, I think it's perfectly fine to keep renaming them, because I already did name them. So it would be a lot like naming an animal and then moving it around. Anyway. Back to work. Alright, so I finished that. So now we have this. It's pretty good. But we're not done yet. So now, what we're going to do... Because I don't really need the cobblestone. We're going to change the command to something slightly different. So, I'm going to change this to a fill command. Fill. And remember, for fill commands, we're not allowed to have the destroy tag on it. But, actually, I'm going to do this in here. So, it, I want it from here to 5. So, it goes up by 5. Minecraft air 0. We're going to do a replace command for replace stone 0. And... If we put this in here, we're going to leave this one still here, just in case, like, gravel falls or whatever. But, yeah, that should be, it should be good. So, that will go up by five blocks. I might want to go more than that. Actually, you know what, might as well go with, like, seven while I'm at it. Or eight. Or maybe nine. Yeah, I'm kind of indecisive. Uh, let's go with... Oh, uh, let's see. If I go... Probably seven... I'm going nine. We'll see how this ends up. So remember, this is only going to destroy... Um, cobblestone, or stone. And that's because I actually want some of these other resources. But... Uh, Hopefully that's not too high. I'm just going to go with one of them and see what happens. Make sure it does work. Okay, good, and we're not getting mob drops. I mean, block drops, what am I thinking? Yeah, that's pretty high up there. There will be a little bit of mountain left. Yeah, that's probably too high. Well, now this is this is the main room. 
I think I'm gonna go with that. It's the main room. So, basically, now I get to do what I just did all over again. This might take a while, but that's okay. Yeah, that's a pretty good height. Okay, I'll be back when I'm done. After I'm done, though, I am going to have to mine out all of these bits, and that's going to be kind of a pain, but better than mining out the whole thing, right? Alright, just finished with that. It actually went quite fast, but it's very interesting to see what we're left with. You can totally just see where, like, the, the blocks just actually formed and such. Really cool. And also, it's going to be a fair amount of work to clear this all out, but... I guess I'll just get started. See you guys in a moment. But anyway, I guess we're done with these command blocks, so let's just get rid of them. Um, there's destroy. No? I guess that doesn't give the, the drop, okay. Um, I'll just give myself the command blocks back. go and let's destroy these I thought they would have dropped but I guess it makes sense they don't really have a drop all right so now I can put these back in here and boy my inventory is a mess let's clear this out then clear that stuff out all right job done boy that took a while but now I can actually start building up the um the walls. Well then, I guess I'll need to do another cut. I'm going to be running off. Well, actually, no. I'm going to not do a cut. So, um, I said earlier I got the white stained clay from a mesa. Let's go to the mesa. So I, a while back, moved the nether portal up to the roof of the nether. But anyway, if we just run this way, yeah, this way, um, eventually we'll get to the mesa. It's like 200 blocks, so I'm going to cut. All right, I'm at the end of the tunnel now, so let's just step through. All right, so here's the mesa. Now, why did we come out here? Yes, um, we are here actually to get the red sand, because I can turn that into glass, and, um, I don't have a desert, so this is probably the best place to get it, but, anyway, um, I guess I'll just do that, and then I'll, um, meet you guys when I'm done with that. All right, I got my red sand, now I'm just heading back. Yeah, this will work pretty well for a wall. Okay, guess I, kill. I guess I will craft the rest. And just like that, we have a crazy amount of glass. Probably too much, but that's okay. And now I just need to find a way to actually place all of these down. They would actually be fast. Um... But yeah, this looks pretty good, I think. And once I actually have, like, a floor done, this will look great. So, I guess I'm just going to place all of these down and hope it works. <laughs> That's basically the plan. Alright, finished placing all the glass. Made way too much of it, still have nine stacks, but I think it looks pretty good. Now, I'm going to need to do the floor and the walls some more. And currently, I have no clue what to do for the walls, but I'll figure it out sometime. But for now, I think I'm going to begin to wrap up the video. We did a lot today. And by a lot, I mean a lot. We did like all of this. And perhaps by the next episode, we might actually have a good base. 
So, I hope you've enjoyed the episode, and that's going to be it for me. If you've liked it, make sure to leave a like, and I will catch you guys all in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching.